Hello, my name is Richard Pasco, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Apricus Biosciences. Apricus Biosciences is a biopharmaceutical company located in San Diego, California, focused on developing innovative prescription medicines to meet unmet medical needs. We are a public company trading on NASDAQ under ticker symbol APRI. Today, I want to share some exciting news with you concerning a transformative agreement to expand our product pipeline that we announced on October 20th, 2014. We have in licensed fispimbifene, a phase 2B ready investigational treatment for urological conditions in men from Finland based Ferendo Pharma. Fispimbifene is an oral, new chemical entity designed to treat urological conditions in men such as secondary hypogonadism commonly referred to as low testosterone or low T, as well as other urological conditions. Fispimifene works naturally to normalize the body's production of testosterone levels versus the current therapies, which rely on ongoing artificial testosterone treatments. Two successful US-based phase two clinical trials have demonstrated proof of concept for the treatment of low T without exhibiting the negative effects on prostate health often associated with testosterone replacement therapies. While the existing market for low T therapies is over $2 billion in annual sales in the United States, we feel there will be an even larger market opportunity for fispimifene given its attractive clinical profile. Apricus was able to fund the acquisition cost and early development of fispimifene with Ferendo taking an ownership position in Apricus stock at a significant premium to our current stock price, plus a $10 million four-year venture debt financing with noted healthcare investors Oxford Finance and Silicon Valley Bank. This structure allowed us to acquire the asset and move it quickly into the clinic on shareholder-friendly terms. We believe that both of these transactions show that Oxford, Silicon Valley Bank, and Forindo believe in the value creation potential of Africa's to advance the clinical development of fispimifene, as well as our other products and drug candidates. Now, I'd like to provide you with an update on our core business. Apricus has been built on a strong foundation in men's urological health with Viteros, a topical treatment for erectile dysfunction that is approved in Canada and major markets in Europe, and is recently launched in several European countries. Importantly, we expect multiple additional Viteros launches to follow this year and into 2015. Viteros is partnered with leading companies such as Abbott, Takeda, Sandoz, Recordati, and Marjorell, with additional partnerships being pursued in Latin America and Asia Pacific. While it is still early in the launch phase, we are extremely pleased with the initial sales figures, which are tracking well above our partner's forecast. I'm also pleased to report that we remain on track to bring our other key pipeline product, Reva, into the clinic by year-end 2014. Reva is a first-in-class treatment for Raynaud's phenomenon, which we are pursuing initially in patients with systemic sclerosis and underlying autoimmune disease. Given the chronic nature of this disease, the frequency of its attacks, no approved treatments, a clear regulatory pathway in the United States, and importantly, a low-cost clinical development program, RAVA represents a significant advancement of our core technology for the benefit of Raynaud's patients with a very attractive long-term return on investment for our shareholders. Looking ahead, we will continue to execute on our strategies to build value for our shareholders. We intend to accomplish this by achieving multiple value-creating milestones in 2014 and 2015 including additional Viteros European launches, enrolling patients in and completing the RAVA Phase 2A clinical trial, completing the development of a next-generation Viteros formulation that will not require refrigeration, and initiating a Phase 2B clinical trial of fispimifene in the first half of 2015. Additionally, we will also continue to work on advancing our partnering activities for Femprox our drug candidate for female sexual interest and arousal disorder, as well as pursuing additional licensing opportunities for Viteros in Asia Pacific and Latin America. In closing, I want to thank our shareholders for their continued support and to reiterate my belief that with the expansion of our clinical development pipeline to include Reva and Fispimifene, coupled with a growing Viteros revenue stream, 
Apricus Biosciences is well positioned to create long-term value for the benefit of patients, caregivers, and our shareholders. Thank you.